Okay guys, so today I wanted to share with you guys something rather interesting. As you can see right here, this is a dynamic island on an iPhone, obviously that does not support dynamic island. This is iPhone 8 Plus with the actual real dynamic island that we find on iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. Now obviously this is a modification that I've accomplished here and I'm going to show you how to do this on your device as of right now if you would like to try Dynamic Island on your iPhone. And now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now of course this is a mod so make sure that if you do this you try this on a secondary device this is software that's third-party software it isn't tested properly it may not work on your device but so far it's worked on all of my devices it works on any iPhone running iOS 16.1.2 or lower that includes the iPhone 8 8 plus the iPhone 11 12 the iPhone 13 the iPhone 13 Pro I have an iPhone SE third generation here which I'm going to show you how to accomplish dynamic island on your device again if you want to try this keep in mind this is third-party software it isn't tested properly so just make sure that if you're going to try it you try it on a secondary device so let's just get right into the video now here's the iphone se of course all the links will be in the description down below the first one will bring you here you want to scroll down until you find the app Santander. Now this application is being signed by a third party developer so we're going to install it here and we're going to allow permission once it installs onto the home screen. Now if the application doesn't install for you when you click the links in the description just let me know in the comments and I'll update the link to one that does work. Now before we launch it it's going to give us the developer enterprise permission so we're going to go into settings here we're going to go into the generals tab and then we're going to go into profiles and device management right here and then we're going to click on the profile for the application blue letters to trust trust it and now the app will be able to launch on your device very simple just like so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead also and copy a text that we're going to need this text will also be in the description down below so again make sure you copy the text properly just like so make sure you copy it completely and now we're going to launch the application and go into the three dots that appear on the top portion right here so click on the three dots then we're going to go into go to and then we're going to go into other so right here, other, and then we're going to paste that text right in this box right here. Click go, and then we're going to go into cash extra. So cash extra here, and then we're going to tap into search options here. We're going to go with OPEI. Tap once more, and then we're going to go to artwork device sub type right there it is so now you want to take a screenshot of this particular value right here because you want to remember this value in order to revert this process in case you don't want dynamic island any longer you change the value back to what it is so mine is five six nine so if i want to go ahead and remove that and, and implement the new one the new one will be two five five six and that's going to be the new value now if this number doesn't work for you you should try two seven nine six those number will be listed in the description as well in case you didn't catch that so two five five six click back click done and then we're going to go ahead and wait a few seconds here because it usually freezes on me in this particular section here so let's just give it a few seconds here once we click done here once it unfreezes we're going to click on the three dots up at the top here and then we're going to click respring so as you can see right there it could freeze for you just give it a few seconds click done click respring and there it is the dynamic island on iphone se it does look like a square there but once we enable it here let's say with a timer boom we get the actual timer here dynamic island on a smaller screen it looks fairly interesting here but it is interactive as you can see right there i can go ahead and quit this actual timer here so let's go ahead and stop the timer here and let's play some music so if i play some music obviously it goes to the dynamic island as well just like so it is fairly entertaining to see this on an iphone se on iphone 8 again it also works with devices that have notch and face id but i think it looks better on devices that have touch id because these devices don't have any interruptions with the notch it just looks kind of weird but it looks fairly interesting on iphone se third generation again any device running ios 16.1.2 or lower can actually do this right now but again this is not perfect software if you want to revert the process here let's go ahead and quit the music all you have to do is do the exact same thing we just did but revert that value back to the number that it was before and then respring your device so we go here we go to go to we go to other and then we're going to paste here the path once again we're going to go to go we're going to go into cash extra and then we're going to go into o p e i 
then we're going to tap here and then we're going to go to artwork device subtype and we're going to find that right here and then we're going to change the value to what it was to begin with so five six nine for me you're going to go ahead and type the number that it is for you click done and then reboot your iphone it could take more than one reboot before this actually gets implemented properly but that is how you revert the process if you want to test dynamic island on a secondary device this is how you do it i think it's just so cool to see this implemented into other iPhones. It's the actual dynamic island right here. So as you can see right there, it works very, very similar as on iPhone 14 Pro. Let me know what you think about this process. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy this mod, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.